Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 19 of Let's Play Ratchet and Clank, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I'm back here in Orkson around this area over here. That if you use your blaster through this pipe against a little screamer, which is those little sleeping enemies, you can get yourself a skill point. I could have recorded it, but the uh, video got corrupted while I was doing so and getting some more nuts and bolts around here. Just for the sake of, you know, getting more money. Seeing as how I need like 30,000 for the final HP upgrade. But that being said, I think now would be a good time to head over to Hoven. And the best way to get there quickly is to... Die. Yeah. How about that for shortcuts? Uh, what's the fastest way to get back? Probably through these platforms over here. That'd be in our best interest. To actually return. Oh, yeah. Luckily, these crabs don't wake up unless you directly provoke them. I wish I could sleep that easily. Then again, I don't think I'd want to sleep that good while somebody's beating me up, and I never wake up from it. It's like, oh, somebody's beating me up. Never mind, I'm dead. That would not be fun at all. I know there's still the matter of that race in Rilgar, but I'm going to save that again for later. So for now, let's head for the bomb factory. Destroy the Planet Buster. Yeah, that, that would be very important to do, given that it can bust planets, and... If they bust all the planets, then we can't continue the game! We can go to some asteroid fields, where planets used to be. But I don't really think that'd be a good idea, even though we do have an O2 mask. That must be the ship that will transport the bombs. You think? Great work, Detective. Hey, don't get all snarky, Ratchet. He's trying to help. Double tap the R1 button to activate hover, and hold the L2 or R2 button to strafe from side to side. Oh, like that. That that could come in handy. Like, especially when you're shooting. Now, these enemies are very annoying. They're called ankle biters. And trust me, there's going to be a skill point that involves, like, a whole bunch of them. But first, let's go check on the Gadgetron vendor and see what we can get that's brand new! Hi there, Fuzzball. A drone device. Apparently it's a defense drone glove. Surround yourself with a screen of point defense bots. This might come in handy! Or it might not! I don't want to buy, like, all the ammo. So, we should test it out. Oh, that could actually be cool. Does it actually do damage? Let's find out. Got a nice bit of defense, though. It doesn't last long enough, but, like, as soon as it takes one hit, it's destroyed. However, most enemies can actually be destroyed by this. Well, actually, weaker ones, rather. But that's still better than nothing. Okay, the sh there's like two missions over here. The Planet Buster and the Icy Wastes. Apparently there's some raritanium around here. Okay, that sounds good. There's a gold bolt around here. You gotta go up. And that's where you get that skill point that involves those damn ankle biters. So, why don't I go to my quick select. And I should probably replace the Trespasser for now. And I'm going to put on that drone device. Let's test it out. Uh-oh. I feel like I created a monster here, no pun intended. Oh, it doesn't even do enough damage! They keep coming! This... Oh, this for a skill point! Oh, man. I could get up there, like, wall jump off this platform. If it works! <laughs> yeah, but in some cases, it don't. What's so precious about ankles, anyway, that they have to fight them? Oh, I selected the Devastator by accident! Oh 
my god, if I actually get this skill point, it is literally by the skin of my teeth. Yeah, oh my god, I'm out of ammo! Oh! And they all respawn, too. Not some of them, all of them, pretty much. So, we gotta do all this again! Did all these enemies have to respawn, too? Wow! I guess that's the game's way of saying, yeah, you have to use that drone device. There's no other way around it. God. Almighty, that, that was brutal. And I tried the wall jump up there because, you know, maybe I can use that as a vantage point and get that gold bolt right away. But that did not work out at all. These things just track you like never before. Like, seriously, just give it a rest. What weapon would be good here? Can I use a suck cannon on them? Yes, I can! As long as I'm on, like, the outside of this, I should be safe. Yeah, just keep sucking them in and then empty it out. Hmm. Did I not get the skill point, or...? Oh, yeah, it was still stuck in there, so I had to, like, blow it up against the wall. Oh, this one's actually tricky to get. It. Got it. Okay. That was a pain in the ass, but we got the skill point and we got the gold bolt. So that's very good for us. I would like to get some more health as well. Also, there is another skill point you can get just by destroying those little helicopters. In fact, you can find them right near your ship. Like, anywhere that's a good spot to aim for them, do so, and the Devastator is highly recommended. Is that one gonna track? Yes, good. You gotta get five of them. And then once you get them, the skill point is yours. Oh, for some reason, I let go of L1. It. I don't think that worked. Why was it not targeting? I thought it was right there. Come on, get him. I hope my missiles are actually fast enough. Oh, that's terrible. Not getting that many hits in all likelihood. Oh, we got it. Skill point unlocked. Beautiful. Okay, I think I should purchase some more ammo just for safety precautions. Especially for that drone device. I got some great bargains for you. That was actually a pretty good weapon, defensive wise. I like it. And. Oh, that's a nice one. Yep, it's Devastator ammo I really need. Okay, now we can actually press on and continue to explore. I thought that went really well. Hopefully we don't have to deal with these ankle biters again. But I have a feeling we will. Or... These pricks. Luckily, they're actually quite basic. Oh yeah, I forgot I still needed some Visibomb ammo. And I'm pretty sure going in the water is a bad idea, so... Should I go this way? Actually, there's three missions. I think we'll go this way first. What can go wrong? I guess we'll find out. Oh.
think handling these enemies could have gone a bit better. But I'm still alive. Let me get this enabled just in case. Uh, is it safe to go down there? It should be. Huh, lots of water. Okay, fair enough. I think we can deal with that. First, let me check around for any enemies. God knows they can just lie and wait for me. Okay, so I need my Hydro Displacer. That's a given. Let's see where I gotta go first. And it looks like there is multiple places you can use it. I'll take this water. I think there's some other places I can put it. Let's put this over here. There, and I can go even higher. This is interesting. I'm guessing this is going to be like a water puzzle. That I'll be using the Hydro Displacer many times. And for instance, over here. Now I've taken this water. Now i got to place it somewhere else. Probably over here. Hmm. So far, so good. But I think there's another spot. Did I take this water? I'm pretty sure I did. Wait, I can go in here now. There was a cave earlier. And is this the one I was thinking of? Wait, I can go up there, but I need more water. If I can get more water, then obviously this is going to work. So let's give it a try. Up, oh, I think that's it right there. So I take this water. And I'll place it on that pump I just found to make the water even deeper. Ooh, there's a lot of bolts over here, by the way. So we can get that gold bolt, and we can also get those regular bolts. Alright, things are looking up if you can actually get up. Get, get up, not in the water. Thank you. So this is what I aim to do. Well, other than this stuff. We go in here. Now that the water is deep enough, we can actually get up to where that bolt is. There, so that's all the gold bolts and all the skill points in this level. Managed to find them all already, so that's really good for us. Getting that pretty far, like we got almost over half of both, I believe. I could be wrong. But I'd be remiss if I wasn't that far. So this is the way to go ahead, alright. Oh, I can get some more bolts, so... Break out the metal detector. I know this is tedious, but... I mean, come on, we need the money. Like, we really really need it. Oh, I thought it was going to tell me to go down. Um, this does not look safe. Oh, I can still use this? That's oh, probably over this way. Hmm, yeah, I should blow those up. Looks like some kind of facility. I mean, this is a bomb factory. So it doesn't surprise me we're seeing a lot of this. I should probably put my metal detector on quick select for now. Uh, place it over this. Only temporary, of course. I know I'll be needing the swing shot more. Don't know if I'll be needing it in this level per se, but it's good to have. Ooh, I don't 
Man, a lot of boxes and ammo here. Oh, the conveyor belts are actually reversing. Interesting. Like, they keep going back and forth. To make them a lot more hazardous than they really are. Okay, so I got 20,000 right now. I still need, like, another 10,000 for that final HP upgrade. Oh god, ankle biters! You are not what I was looking for today. Or tomorrow. Maybe in two days from now, but... Not those particular days that I was talking about. Oh, this is our natural habitat, too, so they can easily hide in the snow. Luckily, there's even more ammo over here. Oh, good. It's going for the drone glove. Can I go this way? Well, there's a room in there. See what at least. Oh! Blark soldiers. Luckily, they're quite easy if you can actually handle when they're gonna shoot. Yeah, I'm getting lots of ammo for this. Alright, so what have you been saying about this Let's Play? Do you feel it's been going well, or it could have been better? I mean, skill wise, yeah, I could have been a lot better, especially when it comes to my weapon management. However, I mean, I could have done a lot worse. I mean, I could just be blindly relying on my wrench all the time and just keep dying because I'm not using my weapons. I mean, it's just like classic Mega Man when I mostly rely on the buster. Like, don't even use my other weapons. Nowadays, I take advantage of them more often. I mean, you practically have to. Otherwise, it's just going to be a dull game and it takes a lot longer to finish. I mean, metal blades are the future! Well, actually, they're the past, but that's besides the point. Uh, let's see... There's just another standard room over here. Fair enough. Oh, I was expecting Blargs to assault me. Okay, we're almost at full health. That's good. I can actually just walk across this. I was thinking I would have to jump. Beautiful. There's gotta be a major room in here. Let's check it out. Hey, buddy, what's shaking? Oh, my goodness. Aren't you just a little angel? <laughs> actually, um, I'm a little robot. Short and stout. <laughs> You're funny, too. Yeah. Looks on everything. You be nice. <laughs> I think I got something special for you. How would you like a hydro pack upgrade? That would be quite helpful for swimming underwater. Indeed. Whatever. Come on. Just take there it. You go, sweetie. <laughs> you look so handsome. Thank you, Miss. Your craft personship is excellent. If you two are through, jealous. I you think he is. You can see me any old time. Your hydro pack will automatically equip when you are swimming. Oh, that's actually very good. Now I can actually swim a lot faster. Honestly, Ratchet is getting a little butter, don't you think? He just needs to let things go, like that movie of... What is it called? Frozen? Yeah. He's just gonna stop being so annoying. Alright, so let's actually make use of this Hydro Pack right away. And because this is pretty much close to the end of the episode by my standards, I don't think we really need to continue hovin' right now. What I will do is head back to Novalis. Like, we haven't been there in a while. And the reason why we're going there is thanks to the Hydro Pack, we can get ourselves, like, another Gold Bolt. And we can also get one of Pokotaru as well, actually, that's Skill Point. But more on that later. Eh, maybe I can go to Pokotaro after this if I get this gold bolt in a hurry. We just, we'll see. I just figure, like I say, you know, get some of the side stuff out of the way so that you can focus on the main story a bit more, like in Massive Chunks, rather than, you know, just getting a lot of the story, then you're doing side stuff all the time, and then you forget what the story's all about. Okay, this current one normally pushes back. 
Now you just need to hold R1 and you can actually swim through. So I believe the gold bolt is actually this way. Because normally we can't swim there. And it does take its sweet time though, I do admit. Wish the jets were a bit faster. I'm not talking about the Winnipeg jets either. Though I wish they were kind of faster too, but that's besides the point. The point is, now that we got this, everything just becomes so much easier when we're dealing with water. And there's also that issue of a... I think there's a gold bolt and rail guard we can get by going in that underwater passage. That I wanted to wait until we got this to make it a lot more efficient. I don't think you can actually use the uh, turbo jets while you're up on the surface. Now we're like in a new cave. Pretty cool, huh? Now we're actually seeing these enemies. I know they're old news, but they're new for this kind of planet. Oh jeez. Technically this is a secret passage, so you're not going to have a map for this. Do I wall jump up here? Oh, that's actually for a crate cache. Hey, free ammo and more money. And I spent like 2,000 just to get this. So Ratchet better be thankful. But he hardly is. Sometimes he's just getting on my nerves. That ever since that whole trap, that he's been nothing but bitter. How the hell do I get up there, then? There's probably another passage that I need to go to. So let's just keep exploring. And we'll find our way to go up. Now, don't even try it! Oh, he tried it. And I bet you it tasted good! No, not the bomb glove. Well, technically the bomb glove did do its job. Okay, are they done flanking me? Good. Okay, this is pretty interesting. I do like that I went this way. Figured I'd just do it now. And I did need some blaster ammo. Hmm, maybe this is the way to the bolt. It does allow me to go up. Yep, it is. Good. Perfect. Alright, so far so good. I'm really happy about this. They were just continuing to get more... Excuse me, I hate when I get the hiccups. Continue to get more and more stuff. So, I'm going to stop the video here, and then the next episode, we'll continue our escapade in Hoven. Actually, I think I'll go to Pokotaru, and then I'll go to Hoven just for that skill point with the boxes. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching.